So we've covered a few solutions to ways that our opponent is going to intelligently defend himself. And this is just the basis of any system that you want to. As your jiu-jitsu grows, you're not training to defeat white belts. You're defending, training to defeat black belts. It's the guy that's going to do it right the first time, every single time. Okay? And it's something that we're going to watch through here. So after you've had any type of success with Peruvian, even if it wasn't successful, you've already telegraphed it, but you missed the move because you did something out of order, he's going to defend that connection of the lapel with his life. Right? He's going to catch it with two hands. He's going to do everything he needs to do. So when I get inside, there's a high possibility that if he's strong enough, he has enough base, when I come across, he grabs this lapel and he gets even two hands on it and I can't even connect. And what this is gonna allow him to do is to push this over his head. Now, this could be a problem, but uh, I like to call this the Admiral Akbar, right? It's a trap. So as his hand comes out, he's stuck to this lapel. Right? Because he obviously doesn't want it around his neck. The problem is that now he's made a lot of distance between his hand and his head where it should be protected. I take my hand, I put it over his hand, and I slide my foot over the top. He may release that grip or he may not. It's not going to help him too much as I flatten my legs backwards to put him into that crucifix. Now, from this crucifix control, there's a whole entry into crucifix uh, positions, and that's a lesson for a different time. What I'm gonna do is to reinitiate myself into the Peruvian system. So I'm gonna re-free my arm, and now he has half of the defenses that he had originally. When I connect my arm together, and I go through, I press his head down, and my foot's just gonna unwind for where it is on his leg. Even if he tries to grab that leg as it goes through, it's enough to still connect him. Cool, because I don't need it to be straightened out. I keep his hand over, I step out, and we show. Let's watch it one more time. I'm over. He defends with both hands and gets grips on this. I can't pull him up. Part of the way, the reason why this succeeds is not that I start to rotate my head so much that as he rotates this over his head and lifts his head up at the same time, I lose a whole position. When this is got, I have to maintain the head position. So as Davis keeps trying to get up, I'm pressing down with my shoulder, uh, my chest on top of his shoulder, go to, uh, pressing down to the ground. So as he rotates this over his head, I grab his hand, I step over, and I peel his arm back into the crucifix. Retrieve my lapel, reset it, put it over his neck, connect, hand down. I'm not worried about grabbing on the outside of the leg because it just needs to go over his head. I step and I'm over his body. Nice. That's the uh, Admiral Akbar. This is a trap variation.